What's going on, you guys? Tristan Montgomery here on today's episode of Commute Chronicles, man. I always am super excited, man, to be able to bring just a nugget of information at the beginning of the week. I know uh, this week in particular is a little bit unusual in the fact that we are on the precursor to a holiday tomorrow. Um, With that being the case, I know those of us that are in the grind are still doing what we do, no matter the, you know, uh, holiday and whatnot. But at any rate, um, I'm just excited to be able to get on today, man. If you guys uh, uh, don't know who I am personally, um, again, my name is Tristan Montgomery, uh, sales professional, entrepreneur. Been doing uh, both for a little bit over almost close to 10 years now, and uh, I've seen pretty much everything, whether it be face-to-face sales, telemarketing, door-to-door, business-to-business, network marketing, and I'm definitely just going to be sharing tips and strategies to be able to take you and your journey just to the next level. I'm just excited right now, guys. I want to be talking about something that is very key to the time of year we're in. You know, of course, we have today being July 3rd, tomorrow being the 4th of July, uh, Independence Day for the U.S., um, but also for a lot of us, you know, a lot of people who are in sales and a lot of people who are more so goal-oriented, it also marks the end of the second quarter. You know, the end of the second quarter going into the third, you know, being able to uh, really take a look at things. And we're going to be talking about a topic today that I feel is very critical um, that I think a lot of people do at the end of the year, you know, New Year's Eve and beginning of the year. But I feel like it's important uh, to kind of give yourself a time period where you get to recalibrate. You know, what do I mean by recalibrate? Taking a look at what you did good, what you may have not did good the first You know, uh, first two quarters, you know, when I take a look at recalibration after June, I look at the first two quarters and look at successes and failures and recalibrate my strategy. You know, I take a look at what it is that I did well and make sure to increase that. And I take a look at the things I may have not done so well and make sure to decrease that. Recalibration, baby. Want to make sure that you are doing that, you know, recalibrating on a continuous basis, man. I think a lot of times it's for a lot of people that we tend to only do that once a year, and by the time we do that, it's a little bit too late. You know, I I believe in really being able to, you know, keep track of what you're doing, you know, have some type of, I guess, meter stick or some type of way that you're measuring yourself to be able to you're doing good or whether or not you may not be doing so good and making sure to review that on a you know on one basis you know the once a year um is great you know but at the same time that's what most people do you know if you want to be different you know i'm talking about this being a a perfect time to do it you know beginning of the second quarter but i feel like this is also something you should be doing on a continuous basis, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, just to make sure that you're on track. So just make sure to recalibrate, you know, not apologizing for the things that went well, but also not making excuses for the things that may have not gone so well. You know, making sure that you are taking the good and continue to do the good to another level, taking the bad and decreasing that to the point where you are getting better and better, making sure to Review what you're doing, recalibrating your approach, and it's going forward, man. So, perfect time to do that, you know, especially with everything going on this week. Um, I feel like it's a, really a perfect time, especially in the daytime on the 4th, of being able just to really sit down, look at things, just to see where you are, and see if you're on track for what you said you wanted to do in this year of 2017. So, with that, I hope you guys got value, man. Make sure to take some time to recalibrate. You know, I love to hear from you guys on this subject, too. What are some of the ways that you actually are keeping track of what you're doing? What do you put in place? Or how often are you checking your uh, strategy? How often are you checking your approach? How often are you making sure that you are on point, on to your actual dreams and goals? How often are you doing that? You know, I love to hear the different ways that you do it. Comment below. And as always, if you're somebody like myself that, you know, you continue to have Um, just a want, you know, you continue to want more, continue to want to do more, serve people more, make more money, have more time, feel free to comment more information below, love to have a conversation about, with you, about what it is I do in business as a side project, of course I have my full time career, and we just have a couple of different ways that we uh, earn, but at the same time I always feel like when you're in a position to add extra income to what you're doing, it's always a good thing, especially if that extra income is coming from a way for you to also decrease 
the cost of your living, guys. So if you want to save more, make more, feel free to comment more information below. But again, I love to hear you know, the comments, you know, like, share, and uh, 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 comment below on the video. And I definitely look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode of Community Chronicles. Again, guys, recalibrate. Perfect time, baby. First week in July, first week of the third quarter. Make sure to take a look at the first two. Make sure that you are able to say that you have recalibrated and have a sure focus for the rest of the year to ensure that what you said at the beginning is actually going to happen. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks and God bless. And as always, have a great and prosperous day, great and prosperous week, great and prosperous month. But most importantly, have a great and prosperous year. This is Tristan Montgomery saying thanks again. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.